In today's lesson, we will learn to install latest version of the MySQL. For that, we will go to the uh, search engine. I will use Google search engine and I will type latest version of MySQL. So, uh, we can see that the official website is dev.mysql.com. I have already uh, advised to download any software from the official website. So I'll click on this uh, official website of MySQL. Uh, I'll click on download and here we, uh, we can see that uh, the latest version is the MySQL uh, 8.0.30. So here we will be using the community server. So remember to download community server, MySQL community server. Downloads we can see that uh, there is a zip R key but we are not uh, downloading this zip R key. We will be using the Microsoft installer. So this is the MSI file, which is my SQL Microsoft installer as I have uh, Microsoft Windows as my operating system. So I'll click on this go to download page. On this download page, you can see the operating system will be Microsoft Windows because the, this is the installer for the Microsoft. And here we can see that uh, the Windows x86 and 32-bit MSI installer. This will work on both uh, on 32-bit OS and on the 64-bit OS as well. So this is a 8.0.30. You can see the file size is 448.3M. So we will download this file. And uh, once the file is downloaded, then we will install and configure. So once you click on download, it will ask you to uh, sign up and log in into the Oracle's account. So if you uh, do not have an Oracle account, then you can click on this sign up and uh, you can fill the details on this sign up form. You can just fill the details. It's asking the normal details. So email address, uh, your password, country, name, uh, job title, workplace. Uh, you can write uh, all these details. If you are a student, then you can write uh, according to your college and you can sign up for your Oracle account. And once you sign up your Oracle account, then you will click on this login. I'm already having an uh, Oracle account. So I'll just uh, click on login and I'll give my credentials. So this is my username and I'll give my password to this Oracle account. And by giving the credentials, I'll log in and you can see here is the download button. So I'm going to download the MySQL installer community server 8.0.30. It's the latest uh, MySQL version. So I'll click on download and you can see the file is uh, getting downloaded here. So it will take uh, approximately two minutes. We can see the download is completed. So we have downloaded the latest version of the MySQL installer. Now we will click on this to install and configure the MySQL. So I'll click on this installer to install the latest version of the MySQL community server. And then uh, we will configure the MySQL community server. So installer is initiated and uh, this is the MySQL installer for the latest version. Here we can select the setup type. So it's the developer type, server only, client only, full or custom. If you are a developer, you want to work with programming languages like Python, Java, then I'll suggest you, uh, you should go for the developer option because it includes the uh, database connectors server client and everything that a developer needs so you can see with the developer uh, default option we will get mysql server mysql shell we'll get a router we'll get workbench and we'll get these connectors and mysql for the visual studio as well and we'll also get the examples and tutorials and documentation so i'll suggest uh, that you go with the developer option you can also choose server only and client only if you know uh, what is the difference between. So I am I'm choosing developer uh, as by default. So now I'll click on next. Here it's asking the requirements. So it's asking that we should have a 
MySQL for Visual Studio. The requirement is that we should have Visual Studio version 2015, 17 or higher and we need to download it manually. So uh, I don't need to download right now Visual Studio. So I can skip this step. I'll go to the next. I'll click on yes. And here you can see these are the packages that are ready to be downloaded. So what we are going to download MySQL server, MySQL workbench, shell, router and connector. This is important if you are a developer and you develop Python apps, Java apps, PHP apps, then you will need these connectors to work with the database. So these connectors are important. Uh, so we can see we have different type of connectors and uh, we have this connector with the Python as well. And now I'll click on execute to download all these packages. And you can see this is also downloaded. So we have downloaded all the packages successfully, all green ticks and uh, downloaded. So once we have downloaded all the packages, we need to click on next button here. And now you can see uh, these are packages ready to install after the download. So MySQL server, workbench, shell, router, connectors, uh, connector with Python. So we need to install. Just to install, we need to click on execute here. And you can see the installation is in progress one by one. We can see all the installation is completed. And once the installation is completed, we need to configure. So let's click on next. And here we can see we need to configure my SQL server, the router and the examples. And uh, so let's uh, click on next first configure the my SQL server. The configuration type, I would like this computer to be a developer computer. So I'll click on development computer, which will enable me to be a server computer or a client computer as well. Port for this MySQL is 3306, so we will not change it here. And let's not go on to the advanced configuration right now. Let's click on next. So everything is fine here. We'll click on next. We will use a strong password encryption for authentication, which is recommended here. So I'll choose this first option, use a strong password encryption for authentication. I'll click on next. And now we need to set the root password of the root account. So the root account uh, in the MySQL uh, has a password and uh, I'll specify ROOT as a root password. So I'll repeat this password which ROOT. So for the root account, I am using the root password. You can also have any other uh, strengthened password, but I'm choosing root as a password here. I would also like to add one more user here. So I'll click on add user and now I'll give the name to the user as the admin. So I'm giving a username as admin and the password I'll give admin root. So I'm giving password as admin root. I'll confirm the password as admin root. You can give uh, any different password. Uh, here you can see the password strength is weak. You can make a strong password by giving combinations of small letter, capital letter and numerics and uh, uh, special symbols. You can give a strong password as well. So now let me click on OK. Uh, this will have one user admin and now I'll click on next. So this is configure MySQL server as a Windows service. Yes, I want to configure it and I have to check this checkbox which is asking to start the MySQL server at system startup. So uh, make sure that this box is checked and uh, here I'll use standard system account. So I'll go with this standard system account. I'll click on next. And now I need to execute so that uh, all these configurations uh, are applied. So now let me click on execute. So you can see all the uh, configurations have been successfully applied and once they are successfully applied then we can say that our MySQL installation and configuration has been completed successfully. Now we can click on finish and if you face any problem throughout this uh, installation and configuration do let me know in the comment box so that I can solve your issues and I can solve the problems you are facing in installation. 
so currently i'm not facing any problem here so i'll click on finish and this will assure that i have installed the uh, my sql server on the system so if i want to configure the router i can click on next and this will ask me to configure the router i'll just click on finish will not make any changes here so i'll just click on finish uh, this will configure the uh, router as well and then uh, i need to configure the samples and examples so i'll click on next and uh, this is already selected we need to select the server we had just installed so selected we have selected the server this is the username we need to give the password which we had just given uh, so for the root account i had given the root password uh, i can click on check and this is fine yes so you have to uh, supply the correct password for your root account here now i'll click on next and uh, i'll just click on execute so the configuration is applied for the examples and documentation also and now we can click on finish all the configurations have been applied here and uh, now we'll click on next and you can see uh, we can start the workbench we can start the mysql shell after the setup I, I don't want to start the workbench or i don't want to start the shell after the setup so i'll just click on finish i'll let you know how to check uh, whether the installation is completed successfully for that we'll go to the uh, all programs and i'll uh, type my sql here and i'll choose my sql 8.0 command line client so i'll just click on this command line client you can see the command line window is here and it is asking for the password so now we remember that we had given root as a password so i'll type root and i'll hit enter and here you can see uh, the successful installation will have this my sql uh, written here so you can see the version is uh, 8.0.30 and now we uh, have installed the my sql successfully on our system uh, we can also type show databases here and see the already installed databases here with the mysql server so this is how we'll install mysql server and mysql into our system the latest version of the mysql in the next upcoming session we would be using this mysql uh, as a database and uh, connect with the python and with the other programming languages